DIYers. I'm Doug, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install your very own Brita Total 360 RO system under your kitchen sink. All it requires is some basic plumbing skills, a little time and elbow grease to get the job done. Today, I'll be installing the RO system under the kitchen sink, which is the most common and convenient location. Just like with any home improvement project, a little planning goes a long way to make your life easier before you pick up that first screwdriver. In this case, be sure to check and make sure you have all the necessary parts and tools to do the job. I like to lay everything out on a nearby surface to one, take inventory of the parts included, check these against your handy manual, and two, have the tools I need ready to go, ideally within an arm's reach. Pro tip, it's also a good idea to have a bucket and a few rags available to catch any possible water drips that may occur during the installation. Next, you'll need to clear out the necessary space under your sink to make room for the RO installation. Take a good look at the water supply lines, the sink drain pipe, and how they're connected. Your RO system will need to be connected to these connection points, so it's important that you know where they are. It also impacts where you place the system. You'll need to identify the hot water and the cold water supply lines. If they aren't labeled, simply run the hot water and feel which supply line heats up. Even if they are marked, often with a blue and red band, it's still a good idea to double check. And be sure to add a piece of tape to one so you remember which is which. Grab the filtration assembly and the water storage tank and place them under your sink. It usually makes the most sense to place the assembly on one side near the cold water supply line and the storage tank on the opposite side. Also, be sure there's a decent amount of space between the filtration system and the back of the cabinet. You'll need enough to fit the flexible tubing. Now that you have everything you need and your space is prepped, you're ready to install your system. Before you get to connecting the RO system components, you need to prepare a spot for RO faucet installation. This can be done in one of three ways. One, use the existing hole for the spray hose or soap dispenser. Two, drill a new hole in the sink. Or three, drill a new hole in the countertop next to the sink. For this install, a certified professional has already drilled a one and a quarter inch hole in our granite countertop, which we'll use. The cold water supply fitting sends the water to the RO filter assembly and is much easier to install than it seems. First, close the cold water shutoff valve. Make sure no water continues to flow by turning on the sink faucet until it runs completely dry. Next, unscrew the existing supply line from the shutoff valve. Attach one end of the supply fitting to the shutoff valve and then attach the cold water supply line to the other end, like this. Gently tighten all of the connections, but don't over tighten them. Finally, attach the green tubing from your RO unit to the remaining connection point by pushing it into the fitting until it stops, seats. You should feel the tubing stop, then pull firmly on the tube to ensure it's secure. The other end will eventually connect to the RO system. Your RO system needs to be attached to the drain so all of the sediment and particles are flushed away. The ideal location for this is on the primary drain pipe right under the sink. Loosely attach the adapter to the drain pipe, making sure the connection point is facing the RO faucet. Mark the location of the quick connect fitting on the drain pipe with a marker. Next, drill a 3 8 inch hole in the drain pipe, reattach the drain adapter securely, and done. Your RO storage tank only requires one connection. First, apply some Teflon plumber's tape to the threads to ensure a leak-free connection. Next, attach the included tubing connector. As tempting as it is, don't ever over-tighten. And that's it. A little later, you'll connect the supply tube to the filtration assembly. But for now, just place the tanks under the sink and out of your way. Since you already prepared the location for where you will install the RO faucet, you can move on to actually installing it. Attach the O-ring to the faucet base and stack them over the install hole. Place the faucet on top. As you do this, be sure faucet connections are accessible under the sink or counter. Screw the washers, hex nut, spacer if needed, and hand tighten them so the faucet stays in place. 
Make sure the faucet is oriented in the right direction and then tighten everything with your wrench. Attach the blue tubing by pushing it into the fitting until it stops, or seats. You should feel the tubing stop, then pull firmly on the tube to ensure it's secure. Next, in the same way, connect the red tubing from the faucet to the filter assembly, then connect the black tubing to the drain adapter. This should be the shortest, most direct route from the faucet. All of these should snap into place quite easily using push-in fittings, but always check with a firm tug to make sure they're secure. Lastly, we need to connect the yellow tubing from the RO assembly to the storage tank. Your RO system includes push-in fittings for quick tubing connections. Plus, the tubing itself is flexible and designed to accommodate tight spaces. However, it may be necessary to cut some of the tubes for an even more ideal fit under your sink. You'll need a pair of sharp scissors or a knife in order to make clean cuts. Now that your RO system is installed, it's time for its maiden voyage. There are just a few final steps you need to take before you get to enjoy that clean, fresh water. First, you'll need to sanitize the RO system using the included eyedropper and some common household bleach. Before you do this, make sure the water supply is still shut off. Detach the yellow tube from the storage tank and add three milliliters of bleach into the tube opening. Reconnect the yellow tube to the tank. The system will be fully sanitized during the pressure test and purging steps. Next, you need to perform a pressure test on the system by first turning the water supply lines back on and allowing the water to flow through an open faucet until it runs smoothly with no air spurts. Turn off the sink faucet and let the water flow through the RO system. Pressure will gradually build and after a couple of hours, check for any leaks in the fittings or connections. If you do locate any, shut off your water supply line and refer to the troubleshooting chart in your manual or call the toll-free customer service number. If there are no leaks, the pressure test is complete. It should be noted that you will not have filtered water immediately. It may take several hours to fill the water storage tank and create a maximum flow to the faucet. The water pressure coming out of the faucet will be less than your standard kitchen faucet. Also, you may hear a small amount of water going through the drain even when you're not using the RO faucet. This is normal. This occurs as filtered water is filling the storage tank. It'll stop once the tank is full. And finally, you'll need to purge your RO system by simply opening the RO faucet and letting the water run for 24 hours. Water will flow at a slow trickle initially and then pick up speed as the purging is complete. Once your system is purged, you're ready to enjoy pure, clean water. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two about installing your own RO system. As you saw, with a little planning and patience, you too can get the job done in no time and will soon be enjoying a great tasting, healthy water you and your family deserve. If you need additional assistance, you can reach a home water expert by calling our toll-free customer support line. And as always, check back on ecopurehome.com for the latest tutorials and troubleshooting tips.